Welcome back to another episode of AI Breakdown. I'm your host, Megan. And I'm Ray. Today, we are delving into the fascinating paper titled Visual In-Context Prompting. Megan, this seems to be applying a known concept in a completely new area, right? Yes, Ray. In-context prompting has been a trend in language models. Think about the way we can guide GPT-3 to carry out different tasks by providing it with fitting prompts. This paper explores how this idea could be implemented for vision tasks, which is certainly an intriguing shift. Interesting, but let's take a step back here for listeners who might be new to concepts like in-context prompting or zero-shot capabilities. Can you break that down a bit? Of course. So in-context prompting is a bit like giving a language model a hint or example of the result we want it to achieve. This allows it to understand a task without additional training, which is what we mean by zero-shot. This approach hasn't been widely used for visual tasks until now. So what this paper brings new to the table is adapting this concept to work with visual tasks, huh? Sounds like a pretty broad field of application. That's right. This paper seeks to generalize visual in-context prompting. The authors are proposing a framework that can cope with both referring and generic segmentation, different ways of recognizing and separating objects and images. Wait, for those who may not be familiar with image segmentation, could you briefly outline what referring segmentation and generic segmentation are about? Sure thing. With referring segmentation, you want to pick out a particular object from an image based on some descriptive cues, like find the man wearing a red hat. On the other hand, generic segmentation is about categorizing similar objects or regions without specific cues, like distinguishing between trees, roads, and buildings in an aerial photo. Understandable. And there's this thing called a Dinov model. That's a catchy name. Yes, the Dinov. Not sure about what it stands for. They didn't clarify that in the paper, but it's the name of the unified framework for in-context prompting they put forward. This model can handle both segmentation tasks by using visual prompts like strokes, boxes, and points in insightful ways. So we're talking about visual hints or cues given to the model to guide it during the segmentation process? That's the idea. And the exciting part is that their prompt encoder is flexible enough to use any number of reference image segments as context, a game changer for enhancing zero-shot capabilities. That sounds promising. How did Dinov perform in their tests then? They've got some solid results. The Dinov did well against methods trained on closed set in-domain datasets, meaning datasets that are very specific and well-defined. It also showed potential in open set segmentation tasks, where the model encounters objects or scenarios it hasn't explicitly learned from. Okay, so open set means it's more adaptable and better equipped to handle tasks involving new unknown elements. Any specific numbers for us? In terms of numbers, Dynov scored 57.7 PQ on COCO and 23.2 PQ on ADE 20K PQ, panoptic quality, is a metric used in segmentation tasks to measure performance. Those numbers do seem impressive, especially considering the model's ability to generalize and not just stick to specifics of a given data set. What I like is that they are making the code available on GitHub for other researchers and AI enthusiasts to experiment with. It's great when we can share and build on each other's work. Indeed, open sourcing the code fosters progress in the field. Kudos to these authors. There we have it, a deep dive into visual in-context prompting. Keep those visual cues handy, listeners. They may become the next big thing in computer vision tasks. So dear listeners, remember, stay tuned for more AI deep dives. This is Ray. And Megan from AI Breakdown here to help you understand the ever-evolving world of AI. Till next time.